Well, Australia is very well and truly preparing for Taylor Swift's Eras Tour, which, of course, begins in February. Now, Swifties right across the country are, of course, going crazy for this and have been waiting for months for this important day and important event. Joining me live is Dr Angel Zong, Associate Professor at RMIT, specialising in global financial markets, investor behaviour and the recent trends in retail investing. Thank you so much for your time. Now, there's a report out where predictions that this is going to bring bring into the economy in Australia $136 million gross. This is remarkable. Whether you're a Swifty or not, this is very impressive. I agree. Thanks so much for having me. I think this is impressive. And there's reports showing that um, um, the growth of the economy is actually um, more than, um, you know, the GDP of the annual GDP of a, um, some of the small countries in the world. So this is indeed an incredible boost to the um, economy here in Australia. It's incredible, not only for the businesses, uh, the venues, bars, restaurants, Airbnb, for people travelling here to go to this concert as well. Um, I guess, how will cities be preparing for this influx? Um, that's a really good question, I think, um, because um, as we can see, um, for example, last year, when these tickets were on sale, um, a lot of Australians were disappointed because they were not able to grab a ticket. Um, so now, um, 2.4% of Australian population were able to grab a ticket, but you can see that um, a lot of these accommodations have been already um, at 80% of their booking capacity already. And um, we are envisaging that there will be great efforts from police, um, security, and um, it is the co coordinated efforts um, by the time of the concert. I mean, Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift rather, has somewhat of a cult following, you could say. Has Australia or the economy ever experienced an impact like this from someone like Taylor Swift? Um, no, I think this is really um, unprecedented, um, and um, uh, but th this is a positive boost to the economy. So um, I think Australia can use more than more more um, of this um, um, Taylor Swift effect in the future. And we also know, of course, Taylor Swift's impact that she's had on um, the NFL as well uh, with her new boyfriend there and the impact that it's having on sport too. Um, does this sort of show, I guess, the Australian government that potentially getting these big stars in uh, has such a profound impact on the economy? Do you think that they'll look to do more of this? Yes, I think so. Um, for example, um, but we also need to be aware of a substitution effect, which is that um, people are actually cutting um, spending elsewhere um, to, you know, to save up for such um, um, things like these big recreation events. Um, there is some statistics showing that um, last year, while there is a growth in spending in big recreation events, um, spending in other areas um, such as essential food items and um, clothing items have actually slowed down. So there seems to be some substitution event. People have, um, people seem to, you know, they chase um, spending in big recreational events that they miss during the pandemic. Yes, well, in Australia, uh, preparations are well and truly underway, and this is going to be massive uh, for the major cities here in Australia. Angel, I have to ask you before you go, are you going? Did you get a ticket? No, I didn't get a ticket. <laughs> but my friends from Queensland, they got two tickets. So um, instead of being able to see Taylor Swift, I will meet my friend and let them tell me all about it. <laughs> Oh, well, that's close enough. I know I'm in the same boat as you, so don't worry. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time today. Thanks for having me.